my name is goodness and thanks for clicking on this video in today's video i'm going to show you how you can achieve this lovely full glam fall makeup look this could also be a brown smoky warm tone eye makeup tutorial if you're someone that just loves to have a soft brown smoky wing look then this is the video that you should watch if you're new here do subscribe and click the thumbs up button if you learned one or two things which i'm very sure you will learn in this tutorial because i was dropping tips and tricks at every single phase of this makeup tutorial so without further ado let's get right into the video i came across some new makeup techniques which i love to try and we're going to do just that i've gone ahead to do my skincare if you don't know the skincare products i use i'm going to leave a video up here so that i can see the skincare product i use for someone that has an oily to combination skin and i went in with this new primer this is the aqua hydrating face primer and is perfect for dry to combination skin and you're wondering goodness you have oily combination why are you going to be dry and i'm going to combination because lately it has been raining every day literally every day for the past one week and a half and my face has not been releasing any much oils it's just like it's just there literally just this so that's why i went in with this and given that i'm not going anywhere that i need my makeup to last for like 12 years i wanted something that is like drugstore and still very much affordable so that's why i'm going in with this if you're an og you know that my dry primer is not this guy but i got this guy that's small and good for everyday makeup so it has this whitish gelish consistency it's literally running down my finger as we speak and this is how she looks like like it has this watery it kind of smells like lotion and soap at the same time because i've never really had a primer that smells but this is how this guy looks like and this is how it does feel like like always i get my makeup done from top to bottom and for today's look, I'm going to be making use of my Nuban Beauty in my skin concealer in the shade 043. This is the concealer I'm going to be using to sort of like prime my eyes. I don't have an eye primer. Yeah, you don't know what eye primer is. Eye primer are the things that you put on your eyelid. You can use them as a form of making your eyeshadow colors pop a little bit more or to just get rid of any oily thing that you might any oil that you might have on your eyelid in case you're someone that produces a lot of oils on your eyelid but i have found that because of this concealer or other concealers that you found that is very good for you does the same job actually because i don't produce oils there and i don't see the need to go ahead and buy more things than i actually do need because we're on a budget <laughs> so just getting that across i'm going to just apply this on my eyelid and um, if this product is strange to you let me just let you know that this Nuban Beauty concealer is one of the best concealers in Nigeria and I think even out there because it's creamy like it's literally so creamy it blends easily and the shade match is chef's kiss so if you're looking for like a creamy uh lightweight but still beautiful concealer this is perfect for you and it blends so perfectly okay so you can grab onto this guy i'm going to leave a link below to where you can purchase it from in the description box so do have to go check it out okay so I'm making use of my naked brush not literally naked but like my naked brush is a dense brush you can use your beauty blender that is your sponge yeah this guy is like this you can use it if you want but because if i'm dealing with like a small area this is very much perfect for me to so just blend it like this by tapping it and that reason why i like to do this is because applying concealer the just helps me get rid of any hyper pigmentation i might have on my eyelid especially someone of color most times our like most times certain parts of our face or our skin tends to be darker than our regular skin tone color so i don't know if it's hyper pigmentation or i don't know but it's just most times they just get darker than our actual skin tone so in order to blend everything and make it look like how they should look like you just want to apply this there so that you are not having like two shades of colors on your eyelid and everything i seen the way everything looks like one color now unlike before that everywhere was given different shades of brown so this is how you want it to be 
yes i don't really like much on my eyelid because i'm going to go in with like eyeshadow so i like to keep it minimum so if you require much coverage from your hyperpigmentation just do you but with this quantity is enough for me so this is what you want to achieve when you're getting this done so I'm just do the same thing to the side of my eye and that trick i learned is that for someone that has hooded eyes like i do i'm gonna know what hooded eyes mean it means like when you have like this layers of skin on your eye so you might like raise your eyebrows up like this yeah you might want, like raise your eyebrows up like this and just because if i live like this yeah you can see like i still have the skin kind of like interfering and you don't want to skip some parts when you're blending yeah so but if you raise it up everywhere is literally exposed for you to properly blend so now that we have properly blended it yeah if you see that you went in with a little bit more than you should have you can always go in with your beauty sponge and just pick up the excess sorry i'm just trying to pick up a certain lash that just came to interfere my glam session but since you want to stay there i'm gonna let you stay there okay so unlike before i saw this girl's video where she didn't apply where she didn't apply setting powder on her on her concealer and i'm like okay okay i mean we live for a risk every day and this is the way i like to take risk in my life it's less it's less risky so i'm going to just try that out and her her reason was because you like you know putting concealer underneath something is acting like a primer like eye primer like i said earlier on so if you want your colors to like pop a little bit more which i have heard before literally in the past you can leave your concealer there and apply your eyeshadow just on it to make your colors pop a little bit more especially like no people are going with, like cut crease they're going with like concealer first of all then go in yeah so that's the entire idea but <laughs> this girl has hooded eyes i don't know if i want to play around because like see like the lines are already forming on my eyes i don't know if you can see it properly and i hear god 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 oh. but that's what we're basically going to be doing so for today's look i'm going to make use of my og jacqueline hill palette this is a collaboration from morphe and jacqueline hill and this is the oldest palette i own yeah head of my chest and uh, these are the colors we have here i'm making use of this palette because it has a very lovely shade of of four colors like i mean these ones are like so beautiful so i'm going to be using these like these shades around here for today's look so if you have any palette that has the combination of those kind of shades perfect for you don't do anything too orange too brown so just picking up my brushes that i'm going to be using in today's tutorial because the brushes also determine how well your eye makeup game is going to go so i'm not one of those people that be like oh you can use anything and yeah you can use anything sometimes but if you're going with actual precise looking makeup you need some certain kind of brushes they don't need to be certain brands but certain styles for example this brush is the kind of brush that you might want to pick up for this kind of makeup because it's dense and it helps you to pick up certain colors without it spreading all over the place yeah this kind of brush is very perfect for when you want to blend out into your your um your crease i want to say areas like that this part where you want to blend out to meet your brow bone yeah this kind of brush will be perfect for you and then this kind of brush as well will be perfect for this area so this is the i think this is the new branded one i have this is the real techniques i think this should be in the shade 300 the many ones yo i got them from i think i got this the same year i got this palette and that should be maybe in the year i don't know it has been a very long time and for some that is not branded i literally bought by the roadside they have been serving their purpose they like they don't shed or nothing like they just like do their stuff so this is a sign that you don't need to go break the bank to get the best makeup out there okay so now that we have gotten the brushes out of the way you might want to pick up your brushes as well and get this makeup done with me at the same time okay so to start with i'm going to making use of this color that we see right here and apply it on my crease so this is the difference between these two brushes because one has like an angled 
vibe and one is just tapered so i'm going to be using the one that looks less dense which is this one to just apply this color around the side of my eye and pray to god that <laughs> this lens that already for me will not affect my makeup so since i'm not going in with any with any um setting powder on my eyes i have to just start by tapping first of all before i go in with blending this feels so very strange but i'm just going to trust the process okay so another thing that you might want to figure out is that when you open your eye you might want to see because i want this color to show when my eyes are open regardless so you might want to like measure okay when your eyes are open like will it still show so my eyes are open and this is the area that does not get hidden when my eyes are open so i'll just apply it just there and then bring it down but leave the majority of it at this corner of your eye okay so are you seeing the way i am literally ignoring this this part of my eye I see some some people not to throw shade but like I see some people that they literally blend like colors like this that are like so obvious and are not like your skin tone. You do not want to blend it up to your eyebrow, sister. Like you want to keep it where your eye should end. Like there's a literal bone where your eye ends and where your eyebrow begins. So you do not want to blend really colorful colors. Was that really make sense? You don't want to really blend really bright colors up onto that part of your brows because why? Just tapping this there. Like majority of it at this part of my eye, then just bring in the excess, whatever I have left, down to this part. So the goal is going from outside to inside. I need to have beautiful it is that we left this part untampered with, and then we'll do the same. Actually, I'm seeing it pop because usually I used to always think that some colors will not just really show because of my skin tone, but like actually, like this color is actually popping see i'm just patting it i'm not rubbing anything yet and i'm not going past where i need to go i'm going to use whatever i have left on this brush to just bring it down here so right now i'm just going in with the other brush and you want to go in with the darkest shade of brown that you have what i say darkest shade of brown i sound like i'm a not a good teacher this is the darkest shade of brown that i have here it's almost black in different lighting but it's the darkest shade of brown and i'm really contemplating whether i should use this because this is also brown whether i should use this i should use this so i think i want to start with this one that's like a shade lighter than this very dark one i almost said very dark one but okay <laughs> so this brush is very good because you can just tap on it like this yeah and it can help you pack enough you want to just keep this on your eyelid like you have to open your eyes look straight into your mirror and then see where your eyelid stop i have hooded eyes and come a bit close i have hooded eyes and you can see that my eyelids kind of stop at this line here where this skin is so that is where i'm going to just leave this guy so using that skin line as a guide where this where this bed mark is, I don't know if you can see it, where this bed mark is, just tapping this guy there. I'm not going to go past it, I'm not going to go anywhere above that watt there. So I think I'll just mix those two colors because I don't want to like shoot myself in the foot at the end. So just tap this color there. And then you want to stop right where your eye stops. You don't extend it, just want to leave it right where your eye stops. So, just keep it there. Then the same thing for this guy. I'm mixing these two colors because I couldn't, I couldn't make up my mind. This color and this color here. Yeah, I'm just mixing two of them together. I'm using the same line as a guide. So the next thing we are going to do, this brush that had this shade here, we're just going to tap it a little, a little bit, a little bit. Tap the excess out, and then use it to blend these two guys together so it gives like a transition you just blend it like there's no like literal hash line going on so you can i'm using it to like blend out the hash line so you like, cannot even see where the deep brown starts from i cannot see where the orange starts from so just go at the end just think about 
eye makeup like when you're in final class like you know how you need to be very light handed i don't want to go on your painting canvas just take it like the and just do this like just imagine yourself being a picasso is because an artist i don't know but what i can remember now is barbie as rapunzel and when she was painting her way was it rapunzel i don't know but there was this barbie that she used to have like a paint brush was it island faces wait give me a second i need to try to figure out my barbies which barbie paints yes barbie as rapunzel yeah that has this um tiny seahorse yes 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 she's the one to so just imagine yourself as barbie as rapunzel i can't remember her name yeah so just take it slightly i see how gradually i'm blending out the hash line you don't want them to know where your makeup starts and ends from leave them thinking you were born this way so if you need to go back with another shade of the lighter orange to blend it properly do so if you have a, like a very smaller brush that can use to do this that's perfect for you but i am talking to the girls that have like one two three brushes and they don't really have all those very tiny and precise ones yeah so this is like what i'm talking to in this video so you can see we have blended it to the best of our ability and now we're going to go back with this guy that has the dark shade of brown and slightly just make it darker like don't go too crazy with it and you can always go back and blend it just bringing back the darkness oh my god that's not so dark just bring it back the the i don't want to say darkness now just bring back the depth of color to our lead because we want to just keep it on our lead because we're giving fall we're giving brown smoky we'll just blend it back yeah so we have more brown and then the orange just stays at the end if you feel like your orange is not orangey you can always go back baby and add more orange the orange yeah the better i mean this is for if you have orange on you what are you doing so if you have another extra brush another extra brush that is clean i'm going to make use of my real techniques one i'm going to get a shade that looks like this actual color i have here and then blend it with it so i'm just going to pick uh this white here this white color here i believe that should be the shade just blend it out so that there's not like hash line from where the orange ends i think this is perfect for me so this is what we are looking like so far and i'm in love okay so the next thing that we need to do now is for our eyeliner if you are not a fan of eyeliner you can always pop your lashes the mascara here and be out the door but i'm an eyeliner girl and i think eyeliner does have a part to play in this look because it just helps to give you that smokish kind of look that we're going for so today i'm going to be trying a smoky liner um i can't do this video separately if i'm being very honest and i don't know i'm doing it now because that's why why be too forward so i'm just going to go i'm going to go in with the black gel liner but the kind of look you want to use a gel liner and the one i use when i've been using i got this this and those brushes the same day on the road by the roadside <laughs> so trust me this guy i don't even know if it expired it expired what i'm using what i always use i think my number like this has been my only gel liner and i like using gel liner because i used to struggle with eyeliner a lot so if you're still struggling with eyeliners you can try gel liners they are they are easy to work with they have worked for me and i'm pretty sure they work for you so this is the matte Huda beauty mesmerizing eyeliner and the shade black i have two of this i have the black and I also have the brown. For you to be using a gel liner, you might want to get yourself this kind of brush, okay? It's very tiny, trust me, it's very tiny and it will give you the feel of having uh, like an actual, like no other eyeliner that have like this felt stick and everything. Or it can either go with something like this. So. 
either you get yourself one of those kind of angled flat 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 brush because see how flat this is yeah this is very flat this is very very like it's like sharp razor so that you get yourself this if you're a beginner i suggest you get yourself this okay because this is just very easy for you to work out your angles and i like using this guy for this inner corner because i found out that using this guy for the inner part sometimes like i tend to like use more and i don't like it so using this guy for my inner corner but you just have one it's fine it's fine just ensure that it's not a very flat brush okay i'm gonna use this to just get the inner corner okay so i seen how that black is just staying at that like it's slightly underneath my eye but like it's still showing so that's what i wanted to go for So now that I've gone past that area, I can let me show you how you can use this flat brush. Just dip it in, even though I'm pretty sure I have like leftover gel on it. So just you want to go for this look, I'm just go very very tight to my lashes. And I'm going to stop right about here because I want to smoke this guy out. I'm just going back to fill it in. So I want to use this one because this one ensure that okay, I'm not going over grounds that I don't want to like I'm not drawing in a line that I don't want to draw before. Just filling it in and making it as black as possible. I don't know about you, but like whenever I apply this liner, like I tend to see my lashes a lot more than when I don't have anything on. So now just leaving like this. You want to stop exactly where you're I stops then I know I said I'm ready to be like very much beginner friendly but if you have any of this kind of brushes I see in them very arkish like giving pinnacle but like very central that is what you should use so I'm just going to put this and use the color that we use this brown color that we use here and just smoke out this is why you want to use a gel liner for this look because if it's a liquid eyeliner it's already dried sister you're not going to be able to smudge anything out but this is gel so just i'm just going to go over the end of this guy apply like put it on the end of where your gel liner ends and then since you have like brown we're going to be brown because if it's black it's going to be too intense but if it's brown then brown mixed with black it still be showing but it won't be so harsh as a black that's the point she just put it towards the end and kind of like imagine pulling out the liner the gel eyeliner just imagine pulling it out like that you can see the way it's just moving like you're seeing the black but you're also seeing the that you're also seeing that it's not as obvious like a proper proper black so I'm just going to bring it out just so I see how beautiful it is. So this is how you can get a smoky liner. I think they're like my favorite now. Don't worry, I'm going to do a very much more detailed video on that. So if you are interested, then you want to subscribe and keep watching for more. Okay, so just for this video's sake, I don't know, this just came from nowhere, but I feel like I want to add a bit of like pop of color there usually i'll go in with my glitter there because i'm a glitter girl yeah i like my sparkles but i want to go in with that same white i used up here i'm using like a very small the word in my head is even chukum <laughs> but i don't know i don't know what that word is just the nigerian in me so it's not a brush that just it just like just poop that's what i'm just going to go for and just tapping it and just poking it there yeah i don't know why if you ask me i just felt like i needed that there because it's either this or glitter you want to go in is with your mascara this is the this is the zyron lightning mascara and uh, this is a tubing mascara so just go in from the roots yeah 
just the root of your lashes first make sure that you get the roots girl so once you've gotten your roots done they want to use the excess on your tip it kind of like gives you the illusion of a longer lashes so that is the trick i found and don't be afraid to go over with multiple coats because you bought it so you can use it however you want to use it don't forget this girl at the bottom here because they are also your lashes and they deserve love and attention so this is the after this is the before so just doing the same thing here okay, so after what felt like about 12 billion years i got my lashes done don't look so close unless you see the mess i did there okay <laughs> that's not the star of the show the star of the show is in the eyeshadow so just want like clean underneath my eye because i have like a bit of concealer there just clean these guys up a bit okay so for my waterline uh we're going to ensure that waterline is as dark as possible so using the same liner with this flat brush and just going inside not outside like if you need to put this is why i like getting my eye done before my base because i can't do this i have my foundation on so just hold it here i uh, can see this actual line just above where your your lashes are coming out from so to line it gently so that's what you want to do it might tickle you if you're not used to it me say that i'm used to it it still does tickle me we just have to work with it try not to blink I just put it over that line you can see where i'm having that orange is that orange or white i don't know but just where that line is that's where you want to put this guy so i'm going to go ahead and use the same brush that we used to smoke out our eyeliner to smoke out this guy a little bit because i don't want to put so much of the liner yes but want to still make it as dark as possible so going with this same brush I just smoke that out and the deeper shade of brown I have this guy here and just smoke this guy out. For my foundation, I'm making use of my Noble Beauty in my skin foundation. Just one two is usually very okay for me. So I like to go in with my hands sometimes to just like ensure that everything is spread out as I need most of my coverage on this part of my face so just like to put it down here and do the same thing for this guy do not even mind me I could have used a very flat brush a brush like this could have helped me but the girl is just trying to be lazy and not have brushes to wash basically and this is my face and i washed my hand before i started so yeah but if you're an actual makeup artist you don't want to use your hand okay yeah so this should be sufficient just like to spread things out first and then i can go in with my dense brush to blend everything in to maintain that you will finish i like to go in with like lightweight setting mist like this is from let me show you guys this is from studio london yes yeah, you just like set this guy so that i can also make my foundation very easy to blend you can go in with any setting spray you have and you can use your beauty blender your damp beauty blender or your brush i like using this brush and this like this because i've already used my hand to like spread out everything and applying my setting spray has made everything a bit more blendable i just saw myself now and i look kind of crazy with my forehead having this <laughs> it's giving simba just blending out this part because this is the part where i have most of my hyper pigmentation i see the way i'm just patting it in i'm not this is why you should get your exact shade mark because are you seeing how here you cannot really tell where my foundation starts and where it ends that is what 
you should aim for some of your will go out there with foundations that are not your shade and you can literally see the line like where it's like if you're wearing a mask for halloween when it's never halloween yet so we're just doing this using the x's on my nose because the less you put on areas that you tend to produce more oil the less oil and the less mess your makeup will turn out to be so in this case less is more so you seen how that just one swipe was enough for my forehead and let like this push as well to just clean up my brows in case i have anything that i need to still correct there so this is what we are working with and going back with the same concept i used but i know i have hyper pigmentation here so let me just do this if yours is super dark i'm going with like a color corrector I almost struggled saying that. I almost said Coral Collector. <laughs> the evil girl in me. Then I use this part. I see how this is designed. Use this part to just clean up the sky. And that reason why I like doing my eye first is just that it's just easier for me to clean up my messes. Honestly, yeah, I don't apply most times any concealer here. I want to feel tempted to apply in areas that you think. You must apply because you see people applying them on internet but the key to this is that understand your face understand where light hits your face when you go under the lights or you're under the sun so anywhere that the light touches is where you should highlight and if you have a big forehead like me you might want to turn it down with the concealer on your forehead because you want to try and hide the fact that you have a big forehead well not hide but just want to make it work for you because your big forehead is a blessing so let's like leave this in for some some few minutes while getting ready to bronze my face for bronzing i make of the black opal spf foundation stick and this is what i use for bronze you can see that it's like subtle shades darker on my skin tone so i'm just going to use this very flat brush so that i can control it Okay, so this is what the bronzing is giving us. So it's it's just adding the that subtle shade. Not so harsh. Understand how your face works so that can you able to apply these things in those areas. If you know people online that have the same facial structure as you do, you might want to like try and find out who their makeup artists are. And then watch couple tutorial videos to see how they get them snatched so that you will know that you're working with someone that has similar face shape as you do. I'm feeling like bronzing this side as well. So I have to give this sharp jaw illusion. If you're not a pro, do not try this, okay? Then I like to use this brush to just blend it down first. Just start by blending it up. So that's a bit softer and you can see how easy it was to blend like you guys i could literally blend this guy with this brush and it's so creamy like i feel like there's so many products out there that people are just sleeping on just blend this one down into my hairline i can go crazy with this one because i'm still going to use like the concealer to even everything out this is my real techniques brush in the shade to say shade in the number 200 I'm just going to use it to just further blend my contour any brush that is like dense like this yeah that is mm, that's like stout dense compact that way you can use they can always use your beauty sponge like beauty sponges are like the easiest to get away with everything you want to do when it comes to your base you can use this part for your foundation use part one part for your for your contours and that part for your blush and other things like that so with this brush just pushing this guy in. you don't have to drag it up and down just push it in and that's what you call blending blending means do not let them see where it starts from do not let them see where it ends just push it in oh my god let me get my hair out of the way and yeah there you have it so that is blended properly that one part does not have so much yeah just you can also bring this guy in to blend your nose as well and then i believe that it's time for us to blend our concealer always start with the edges okay of anything you want to blend start with the edges 
and then work your way to the middle then just press this guy A then use the excess to clean up the sides of my nose contour then use whatever I have left on these guys that are blended just bring it down here just before we start blending this other eye there's one thing you need to do you need to get yourself your pressed powder and your what's this guy called? powder puff mine is very dirty but that's because yeah so you want to get yourself one of these guys and any pressed powder you have this is um the v beauty yeah this is v beauty this is um this guy i've just got to set my under eye and it has been leaving me with a very flawless dry under eye for the entire day's makeup so it's almost like i'm almost running out of it so i need to go and get on that one so we want to ensure that you have this guy with powder on so that neatly you're done blending you are good to go and then when you have picked it up just dab it behind your hand here so that you don't have so much on the puff so i'm holding it with one hand and i'm blending with the other hand like i said you want to start blending from the edges then you work your way in and then use it to get to this inner part okay so you don't really have to apply so much in the entire thing i do the same thing for this guy from the edge if you need to do this you can do it okay it's allowed you might want to look up so that all these your creases here yeah, they have their one up because when you look up they don't literally show so we're just going to look up for one second and Or you can look down anyone that just takes away the piece from your eye are you seeing how smooth that guy is so do the same thing for the left i guess in how sharp this guy is so now that i have used it to like set that guy so the contour here has this reddish undertone this one here it's almost exhausted i know because i said it's old and i think i want to use it for my contour it has this like reddish color underneath it so i want to just do my my stuff for a palette that is not so popular this guy is very much pigmented you can see how it just makes my face look put together oh god i think i want to use this red but i have to be careful because like i said it's very 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 pigmented like a little goes a long way with this guy i have to like tap out lots of the excess and just go slightly i don't want to use cream blush just subtle yeah i think this is perfect and yeah, this is very perfect i don't want i don't want the blush to show properly but i still want the blush to show if you get it you get it so just because this brush has like an angled shape to it i use the tip of it and and dip it into the powder contour or powder bronze i'm making use up and just use it to set this guy over here let's not forget these guys at the bottom here it's time for us to actually set our face with literal setting powder so the setting powder i'm using today is the benai luxury setting powder just tapping out the excess then just going back then setting anywhere else that have concealer my forehead middle of my nose you know this side we're not forgetting this side for the rest of my face i'm going to make use of my Nubam Beauty Mineral Finishing Powder Can you guys see the difference? See the way it just kind of like seals everything in This is what we are going for For my last final step, I like to go in Oops, where's the cover? I like to go with the So Pro Hydra Mist Setting Spray To just make everything one and then go in my Nubam Beauty Fixing Spray, okay? For this look, you want to keep your lips a bit simple, okay? You want to keep it very simple, you want to keep it a little bit brown and nude So if you have any of your brown, neutral, nude lippies, then you want to put them out and get them in 
in spirit of fall i'm going with my my master crew by face today this is a maybelline product so for this i like to use a, a very damp beauty sponge because this guy is very pigmented just tap this guy i like to put it behind my hand because hmm, like i said it's very pigmented it's going inside of my face like this just very subtle makes it look like skin and it just evens out properly then just going whatever i have left with a brush and just putting it at the center of my nose to just highlight my nose if i was to be going with glitter this would be the perfect shade to put at the at the inner corner of my eye but like we're not going with glitter today and thou shall not tempt goodness okay and this is the look this is the actual look let me know if you actually enjoyed this video by leaving a comment below and don't forget to give us a very big fat thumbs up there you have it guys this is my edition of a fall autumn makeup look that's still very affordable and still very easy to do and let me know if you have any question below in the comment section i'll be listing every product i made use of in this tutorial below in the description box so do have to go check them out if you want to see more brown soft looking makeup looks like what i have right now click on this video here and i'll be there to show you how to accomplish this hot brown chocolate makeup look on someone of color like i am and i'll see you in that very video